And this week's Torah portion is called Parshat Chaya Sarah. Chaya Sarah literally means Chaya, means life. My name, Chaya, Chaya, is life of Sarah, the life of Sarah. Now, what's odd about calling it the life of Sarah is that uh, it begins with the death of Sarah and, and Abraham finding a burial plot for her. And so why is it called the life of Sarah when we're talking about the death of Sarah? So we can learn from, we can look into the Torah to understand the Torah. So the Talmud tells us that a person who spends their days, spends their years, spends their lives trying to infuse the world, the people around them with good, trying to bring positivity, trying to make a difference in a positive way. People who spend their lives doing that, it's as if they're alive even when they're dead. On the other hand, when you spend your life bringing negativity and things that are really not becoming of a human being and causing arguments, gossiping, not bringing in good things that raise us up. It's as if they're dead, even when they're alive. And, and Sarah, it says she was, she was, she died at 127, but it doesn't say, okay, she was 127 and she died. It says she was 127. Why the language of 120 and seven? To teach us that every day, Every year was a year in which she tried to infuse good. So we're try we have to try to do that. This is our opportunity. Judaism is not all or nothing, by the way. So we know, and I feel like there are so many stories that we can attest to this uh, idea that a person can earn their eternity in a split second. God is very, very, very forgiving and wants us to come back. So a person who maybe led their life with negativity and infusing the world with negativity, if they turn around and they realize that what they were doing were wrong and they are sincerely wrong for what they did and then they start to live a different way, they can now, it's as if that never happened. They can change in ways to really be alive while they're alive and alive even when they're dead. Now, Judaism, so it's not black or white. It's not all or nothing. Even if this inspires you to take on one little teeny tiny thing in your life that is on the direction of positivity, don't worry if you're not doing all the other things. It's not all or nothing. It's not black and white. We begin by just moving forward. And I think the other